Welcome to another episode of Layouts and Brizzy. I am JP with Brizzy and today we are looking at one of those layouts that come with Brizzy Pro. Weekly we just have a gander at various layouts. Sometimes we look at partners like we did before with Astra and their premium starter sites and then like today we look at those layouts that come with the Brizzy Pro version. And you will notice I say Brizzy Pro because they are not available in the Brizzy Free version. So the premium, we give you a number of layouts. The layout today from our Pro selection is one that we call Swipe. You will see here Swipe and it's a one page website. This is ideal if you just want to promote a product, especially if it's like a technical nice gadget or something, maybe even that you want to promote on Kickstarter. This is very exclusive in the sense that if you go through the site, which I will do soon, that it gives you the opportunity to promote your product, but you won't be able to do other things with it. For example, I won't turn this kind of site into a bakery or into a barber shop. This is very good for promoting gadgets. So let's have a look then and what we've got here. I've opened on the left also a display in iPad so you can have an idea of how it will be responsive on different devices. First thing, it's a one pager. So from top to bottom, you're going to see just one page. And I'm doing this within the Zeta theme. And if you want to know more about Zeta and other partners, please go check out brizzy.io where we have a list of partners that we work very closely with. We start here, it's almost like a header, but immediately it tells you what this site is about. And in this case, iPad goes for iPad, right? It can be a Surface Pro that you want to do here or any other gadget that you are trying to promote. It tells you a little bit about the product and here, very good, you need to have some kind of reference for a review that will give some status to your product and then find out more. If it's a one pager, it's going to link to a section below. It's not going to link to another page unless you have maybe a, a hidden landing page somewhere where you will have more information regarding your product or if this is a PDF that you want to download. At the end of the day, probably just a link to another block on this page. As you scroll down, you will see your interesting things that they're going to say, the features. One thing, and this is where I often want to tell people when they look at a site and then when they build a site on their own and they are so disappointed why my site doesn't look as great as the one that I've seen online. What you see in front of you, this entire image over here and how this is achieved, this can hardly be achieved with any page builder on the market at the moment. There's a lot of advancement in this regard with perspective scaling and other CSS coming in. But at the end of the day, if you want this kind of control, you'll have to go to our good friend Photoshop or any other photo editor or graphic editor to achieve this. This is still something that is a reality and don't you know beat yourself over the head if you cannot achieve this within the page builder. So be aware that things like this that look so fancy and look so nice, you may still need a graphic designer or you may need to go to a stock site, get some vectors, get some photos, bring it in and make it look good. What though is important is that it doesn't matter what you use, Look at the consistency. This is what makes this site look so stunning. You have the color, you have the dark background, and you have the gray scale. It's very consistent. The colors, the font, and the layout. So this theme here with this line, and then you know this little graphic over here, if I scroll down, you will see it is repeated throughout the document. And that makes this layout for me really special because you have those elements repeated, and it gives you that feeling of consistency. Here we have a scroll down arrow and again, when you click on this one, you will link it to a section and it will take you to that block. That is done through the anchor links within Brizzy. Over here, it talks about the main features of this product. And then over here, you can have either info blocks or it is just things that are available within this product. And you can even make this links if you want to turn it into a link. And perhaps you didn't know, Anything in Brizzy can be turned into a link. Again, some features over here, very nicely done with four columns and then more on the App Store, so it will link to the App Store. Again, we have this scroll down or scroll to the next section arrow, which can just be a placeholder or an indicator. Again, you can activate it to anchor link, take you to another block. 
Some future requests, not feature, future requests. What about desktop versions? Coming soon on Win and OS X. So it will tell you a little bit what you want to know. And then you have integration here with mail opt-in options. Keep me posted where people can sign up. Notice again the color consistency that we have here, as well as these files over here that give you that consistency. Then we have this repeat element over here talking about the interface. And then when you are bragging about something that looks good, you need to bring in your images. Look at this great gallery, all done within Brazil. You can see here on the left on the tablet version, just a little bit different with a little bit more of spacing. Few more screens and then a contact form at the bottom, the ever essential contact form that everyone needs on their site. Again, I want to say I love the consistency here. This image in the background, I'm pretty sure you've seen it on Unsplash, but this is where I think stock images are used well, when it's not the main attraction of a site, it's a background and then you have this blue overlay, it looks really good. Again, this 4.0, you're not going to achieve that by bringing in a block and putting text inside it and bringing a border. Yes, you can. But if you have a little bit of Photoshop ability, go in there and create this, make it a PNG and bring it in. It's going to do well for your styling and it's going to make it look good. Scroll down, we still have download and purchase. And again, it will have a button here that links to the App Store. And that's that. So let's have a quick look at how you are going to bring this into Brizzy with the Brizzy Pro and how you're going to display it on the front end. I'm going to close out here and then I will go to new and say add a new page. We call this page swipe. And then before I publish it, I have to go into my theme options because I will be using the header and the footer of my theme. So I'm going to say here, no sidebar and full width stretch. This is within Zeta and disable title. Let's publish it, publish it and go to edit with Brizzy. When you get inside Brizzy, go to the little page icon, page template, and then choose the default. And now we will have our header at the top. Make sure that you've got Brizzy Pro installed. So let's click here on the load blocks, go to layouts. Then we go to one page and you will see swipe appears over here. Click on that. And as it's only one page, you'll only see one page and click on import this layout. It's going to import everything that you need to get the site going. But one thing that you should not forget, and that is that you have to align it with the global styling. That means if you see this little paintbrush here, which you should, and you click on it, you will see current style. I've already put it on swipe. Most likely, if you are using it for the first time, it's going to display as Brizzy default. So let me put it on Brizzy default and you see what happens, right? It changes the fonts, it changes the size, it changes the color. You can cycle through these various styles and maybe it will give you a different idea of what you can do with it. But if you want to match it to the layout, as you saw in the blocks layout, then you have to look for the theme name, which is swipe and you scroll down to swipe, click on swipe, and now you get it as you saw it. And then all you need to do from here, of course, is you have to go update it. And most importantly, of course, is that you have to change the content. You're not going to use these images. You're going to bring in your own images, but like this, this 1.0, this is nice enough. This is for free. You paid for it, so you can use it. Just, of course, the content like the text and this. And then if you want to make changes, for example, you think this orange, I want to make it a yellow. Then you just go here to your global styling, click on the orange, and then you can choose your own color or you add it there. And now you see it changes globally. This is what makes it really, really great and easy to work with. So if you want to know more about the layouts, go check out brizzy.io for more conversation. What's going on in the world of Brizzy? Find us on Facebook, a very talkative and active and supportive community. This is JP with Brizzy.